All right, Paul, thanks so much for your time. We're here in one of the London's newest, most beautiful hotels that's got an amazing history, doesn't it? It has an amazing history, but it is brand new. This is Kimpton Fitzroy London, and it's only been open since October last year. But the building is 120 years old, so a great juxtaposition between the two things. Now, an awesome development from the former owner that really did an amazing job on this hotel, from the room where we are in now right through to the guest rooms, didn't they, when they built it? It was an extraordinary investment of both love and money uh, over a couple of years and 80 to 90 million pounds to reimagine what is this uh, extraordinary hotel uh, for the modern age. And you're in a very convenient part of London, but you're not right in the middle of the hustle and bustle, which is a nice balance. I think it's interesting. We're right across from Russell Square, so we have our own green zone, which is great. But over the last few years, London has been looking progressively more and more east. Obviously, Shoreditch was a hot, you know, a hot place, still remains so. And so people are looking a little bit further east, and of course, we're nicely sort of one foot in the east and one foot in the west here in Bloomsbury. And obviously very close to places like Fitzrovia, which is going through a bit of a renaissance in terms of more restaurants and bars coming into that area. And, and also you've got Oxford Street down the street too with, uh, with lots of shopping, so convenient. It is, everything's walking distance from here. That's a great thing. And London, of course, is such a great walking city. Now tell us about the hotel. Like some of the rooms in here are some of the most spacious I've ever seen in London, but impeccably designed. We have um, a wonderful designer, Tara Bernard, uh, who's done some extraordinary work globally. Uh, and it's her vision that we see here in the hotel, in the rooms, and indeed in this space here in, uh, in, in Palm Court. And so she's uh, respected the classic elements of the building, but introduced some lovely modern touches and used very contemporary tones to, uh, to achieve what she has in a lovely residential style. It, it is, it's very, uh, very calming in here as well. I mean, like we said, you're in the middle of London and in this room here, it's, you do one of the best high teas and it's just so nice and peaceful. It is a very much uh, an escape. You step in through the wonderful entrance, in through those double doors, and you leave London behind just for a moment. And a very good bar in the hotel too. Uh, bar is always very important. Uh, needless to say, um, quality control by the general manager on, on the occasion is also very important as well. Quality control checks. But it's a fabulous space. It's, it's very sexy like a good bar should be. Uh, a great range of cocktails in this amazing Victorian space. How important is that in London? I mean, London's got so many great cocktail bars and especially in hotels as well. I think for us, it's an opportunity to join the scene at the very top because London, like New York, really does set the tone for what cocktail bars are all about these days. And to be a serious contender, you really have to go into the market and go, okay, we're going to put everything in place, the right decor, the right vibe, and the right mixologist to make it happen. And if you look at the, the hotel, it's been designed for the business and the leisure traveler. I mean, you've got very practical rooms with good desks inside them, as well as comfortable beds and comfortable lounges. We have, but as you move around the hotel, you find that you can actually work everywhere if you want to. And that's really the key element, whether it's here in Palm Court, our coffee house, Burr Co., sort of latte and laptop heaven in yeah. a way. It's uh, a place where people work in very much a 21st century mode. Wireless everywhere, easy um, to uh, both have a meeting, eat and drink at the same time. And if you look at the hotel as well, obviously from a meeting standpoint, you've got one of the most beautiful ballrooms in London as well. Extraordinary and a little bit of a secret, although not for long, we hope, but it has its own wonderful entrance. It's possibly one of the most ornate ballrooms in the city. Of course the hotel is 120 years old since it first opened and many elements of the ballroom actually haven't changed in that 120 years. We now have electricity which is a good thing yeah, uh, of and of course the, the great um, um, uh, refurbishment of the hotel included the ballroom but we were very conscious of the grade two listing as well. When you look at the business travel that comes to London, obviously it's such a huge market for this town and you do have things there, like you just said, that are so practical, like the cafe or the working spaces and the comfortable rooms. Our personality is driven by our ground floor experience where all of our food and drink offerings are. We've got a great selection of, of restaurants and bars and it really is pitched at today's traveller that actually wants a little bit of everything and doesn't necessarily need to leave the building um, to get a new experience depending on what sort of mood they're in on the day. And Paul, what are some of your favourite things in the area around here in Russell Square? Bloomsbury is really coming to life and the fact that it's great squares to start with and a Bloomsbury 
uh, is absolutely extraordinary the number of green zones. We really appreciate just how clever the designers of London were centuries ago in, uh, in achieving this. And now as you move through little pockets of, of Bloomsbury, you discover great uh, streets just that have individual personalities. Lamb's Conduit Street, literally a couple of blocks from the hotel, is wonderful. Great shopping, great wine bars and, and restaurants and pubs. It's a lovely little London village experience all in one street.